Hi guys, Derek, Beach Mountain RC. We're back in the uh, scale garage today. And this is episode one of the Ruby Red build. And of course the reason that I'm calling it the Ruby Red is because of the red Rubicon body that you see in front of you. But we're not going to go over it right now. I've been tearing stuff down, just uh, getting the chassis ready, uh, my axles and stuff. I'm going to reuse the axles, but I just want to review some of the stuff that I am using, and then we will get into putting some stuff together. First off, we have the chassis. And... As a lot of you guys out there may know, this is an Axial SCX-10 chassis. Now, in the uh, last shot of the slideshow at the beginning, you did see where I removed this back section of the chassis. I pulled it back down to this part right here, just because the whole chassis wouldn't fit under the Rubicon body. Um, there is going to be very little from the stock uh, chassis setup um, that I use. So, and just to go ahead and throw this out there, I've never owned an SCX-10. Um, I don't even really buy kits, and I've never bought an RTR. So what I do is I pull parts together over a while and then I start building. This, you know, just tearing down the blue truck and everything, keeping what parts that I could or wanted. Um, the shock hoops for the front are RPM shock hoops. These are well better made than the stock axial ones. They wrap around the chassis and have height adjustment as well so you can adjust your ride height and stuff. These are the RC four-wheel drive ARB60 special edition T-Rex axles. Um, I've used these axles for a long time they have a bulky differential uh, hogshead or pumpkin, whichever terminology you use. Um, and they do sort of get caught up on stuff, but super beefy axle. So, and I will also be using the stock front cross member. Now, for our installation of what we're going to do today. Let me just turn us right around here. That nice SSD scale transmission transfer case is what we're putting in today. Now, what we're looking at with that there's the SSD label, and there's the information on the box, or on the back, I mean. Um, I will be leaving a part number for everything in the description down below, so feel free to check that out. And we will also be using the chassis mount steering kit for the SCX-10 from SSD. And what you get in the kit, guys, is the scale transmission and transfer case. It is already married together and pre-lubed and everything from the factory. Um, you've probably seen quite a few um, of these transmissions uh, a lot of companies license them 
Uh, I actually have a RC four-wheel drive version of it in my uh, Unimog project that I'm doing. Um, unlike some of the companies that release a unit like this, uh, this is just a one-to-one -one drive. There is no overdrive for the front or anything like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you get your cross member in here as well as your hardware. So let's get down to it, guys. If you look on the bottom here, there are three holes for mounting. Just going to mount it into the stock transmission position and then put the cross member in. So we'll go ahead and get started with that. Go ahead and pour everything out here on the table. All right. <clears throat> I actually don't even know which screws go where yet. I haven't made it that far. I assume that the countersunk screws Alright, there's three countersunk screws, so I believe that's how they go together. Just goes right in there. And I don't think I'm going to make you guys sit through this part. And through the magic of editing, BAM! Well, that's a pretty cool looking setup right there. I like it. I like it a lot. I think this is probably going to turn out extremely well. Now, as far as the front steering kit, uh, I am actually only using this panhard bracket. This is for mounting the panhard bar. Uh, I may be using some of the links out of the kit, but really this is what I came for. It just sits into the chassis rail like that. Comes with all of its hardware and everything. Um, and as soon as I get that mounted in, I'll be back to sort of show you everything. Alright guys, done with that part. Got the little pan hard mount on here. One thing I did have to do though is where this RPM shock hoop does wrap around the chassis here. Um, I had to cut it a little bit to get that pan hard mount to fit, but uh, yeah. Bang. Scale transmission in and everything. And like I said, it's just these three screws right here. And then you have the cross member here that mounts here and then here and here. It's very nice pieces because they fill the chassis up in these areas. Same thing with the pan hard bar mount makes it very solid in there I will be putting a scale motor bay and everything in on this but that will be for a later video guys I think I'm gonna wrap that one up right here and probably on the next go around we're going to start the suspension maybe a little bit of fitment trying to work on uh, getting the body on here correctly and everything but, like I said, I believe I'm going to wrap it up right there, guys. As always, toss me a thumbs up if you think I deserve it. Once again, everything will be down in the description below. Why don't you hit that notification bell for me over here? Because it helps me grow the channel and bring you better content. And I believe that's it, guys. Appreciate you watching. See you on the next one.